All right, what's going on guys? My name is Omega and welcome back to another Apex Legends video. So in today's video, I've got a couple of big things to talk to you guys about. We're going to be going over DDoSing in Apex, why it's a problem, and what exactly DDoSing is. Also, Respawn is giving out some big rewards for players affected by login issues in the past couple of weeks. And we're going to end this video giving you guys some more information on the April Fool's event. So lots of great stuff in this video. Drop a like if you guys do enjoy this series. To start off today's video, I want to show you guys a map concept for Olympus that was posted by one of the lead concept artists over at Apex. Now, this is a really interesting concept. It looks a lot different from Olympus right now. And one of the things that I wanted to point out to you guys is what it says here in the top left. It says allows for modular map updates and more efficient for art department to build. So basically what this means is that Olympus as a concept was designed to basically be a bunch of puzzle pieces that could be moved around and switched to different places. This was also confirmed by one of the Apex Legends writers who said Olympus can actually shift and transform thanks to its advanced computer systems. Now the main reason I wanted to show you guys this is because we are probably expecting some new map changes coming to Olympus. I thought it would be a really cool idea for them to just move some of the point of interest around rather than taking away or adding any new areas. Definitely let me know what you guys think about that. What kind of map changes would you like to see coming to Olympus? Now next up I want to talk to you guys about a huge problem that is currently in Apex Legends and that is DDoSing in Ranked. So for those of you guys that don't know what a DDoS is, it stands for Distributed Denial of Service and it's an overflow of information packets sent to an IP address usually by malicious PC ninjas. Most common connections won't be able to handle all these packets, so they will be effectively blocked from maintaining a connection until the attack lets up. Since chances are if you are getting intermittent lag or getting disconnected from a match randomly and then reconnect, you are most likely not being DDoSed. The fact is DDoS attacks are pretty rare, it's pretty tricky for an attacker to target the player, so most of the time the attack is directed at the server rather than the individual. And I want you guys to be clear on what a DDoS attack actually is, because I know some people lag and they blame DDoS. But that's usually like two completely different things. This clip posted to Reddit by Lolo Shooter is 100% what a DDoS attack looks like. So this was posted yesterday and it already has 45,000 upvotes on Reddit. This is undeniable proof that the number four and number six Xbox Predator players are DDoSing servers after we knock them. I'm posting on Twitter for more attention, but please help get this traction. Console ranked is literally unplayable with five of every six games being DDoSed in Pred lobbies. And as you guys can see in this clip this guy had downed an enemy rampart player when he was just randomly disconnected from the game when he came back into the game it turned out he was actually down and the rampart was somehow up and alive and after getting disconnected a second time he joins the game again where it turns out both these enemies had already killed him there's actually another clip of this happening posted to reddit by a guy named xo spiral in this clip the same guy that was ddosing in the one that i showed you before is doing it again in a master slash predator lobby this time they decided to DDoS the lobby right as the dropship was letting everyone out. So basically everyone had landed in the same spot on the map, which caused the DDoSers and his team to obviously just murder everyone. So I'd imagine that if these guys can get like 20 or 30 kills in the first 20 seconds of the game, just imagine how fast they're grinding from bronze all the way up to predator. They could probably easily do this in less than a day if they just keep DDoSing every single server they go on. Well, we actually got a comment from from the man, the myth, the legend, Respawn Hideouts, who just had the one single word, banned. So while it's good that these two players got banned, it doesn't really solve the problem of people being able to DDoS in the first place. You know these guys are probably just going to make another account if they weren't hardware banned and just do the exact same thing. Respawn Hideouts actually made a tweet last week saying, console reckoning for DDoSers and DDoS customers incoming, you can't hide any of it. I know in other servers such as in Tokyo, hacking, DDoSing, and cheating is a huge problem that Hideouts has just not really been able to keep up with. And again, I don't want to put any blame on respawn hideouts because he is just one man doing the job of what I think an entire team of people should be doing. So I think it's respawn's responsibility to put more people onto this situation. Cheaters and hackers have the capability
capability of ruining games. So I really hope this problem gets fixed sometime soon in the future. Now, if you guys watched my last video, you probably know that Respawn is going to be giving out some free rewards to players who are affected by the code net login issue. Specifically, these are people who have not been able to log into Apex for the past couple weeks, even sometimes the past couple of months. Now, we don't know exactly what everyone is going to be getting, you know, those players who are affected by this login issue. However, we do know that one player who was unable to log in for six weeks was given 15,000 Apex coins and free heirloom shards for compensation. This player had apparently made a post to Facebook saying anyone with code net issue for a long period of time, fear no more. They fixed mine finally and after six weeks I got 15,000 coins and heirloom shards for compensation. Maybe different for everyone depending but they have earned my respect back after being locked out of my account for over a month. This definitely surprised me. Like I was expecting Respawn to just give out like some weapon charms or free banners to those players affected by login issues. Now like I mentioned before, it hasn't been confirmed that everyone who is affected by these issues will be getting Apex coins and heirloom shards. It's probably only the people that have been locked out of their account for like over a month and that haven't even been able to play in the last couple events that we got. And according to Chad Grenier, they're still actively working on fixing these login issues. The first priority is getting the accounts back up and the second priority will be getting these accounts some free stuff. Now to end this video, I want to go over with you guys some more information regarding the April Fools event. So I made a video on this before kind of giving you guys some general information about the April April Fools event, but now we have some more specific info from Shrugtle. He made a tweet saying, for this year's April Fools, you can expect Gold Mozambique that does 19 damage per pellet and has nine rounds. There's also a Gold P2020, which does 25 damage, plus seven ammo and 190 damage while on a zip line or a balloon, dude. That is going to be insane. There's also going to be air horns and many, many loot rollers raining from the sky. And then finally, a lot of gold weapons. According to another data miner on Twitter known as Inseas, these loot balls will be spawning after every 15 deaths in a match. When half the players are killed in a match, these loot balls will spawn every 10 deaths and the maximum amount that can spawn in one match is 100. And 60. So this definitely seems like a very fun April Fool's Day event. I wasn't actually able to play when the Gold Mozambique was released last year, so I'm 100% gonna make some time on April 1st to play the event. Highly suggest you guys try and do the same, just because these events only come around once per year. April Fool's is usually one of the best days and one of the most fun days for Apex. But let me know down in the comments what you guys thought of today's video. Drop a like if you do enjoy this series, and I will see you guys all on the next one. Have a great day. Peace out.